All right, and folks, uh, we are back. Again, apologies for the uh, technical hiccups. It looks like we've got um, our feeds back up. So just bringing everybody back up to speed, uh, we've discovered that Prime has a major upgrade in Hive Chamber B, but that cannot be picked up until we find... Uh, well, actually, no, it looks like Echoes has bombs too. Uh, so that must have popped up semi-recently as well. Interesting. So both uh, all f uh, both worlds already having their bombs. So uh, bombs for Prime 2 especially is pretty important because it lets you bomb jump. It lets you move a couple of things around. It's definitely a good item to not go long without. The big one you would want for Echoes especially at this early stage of the game is Space Jump. But, uh, oh my, we've got uh, Beam.Wave <laughs> from Sluglin in Lower Furnace. The what beam? Uh, wave Beam. Oh, Wave Beam. I, I hear the dot beam. Oh, yeah, like, what? <laughs> be beam.Wave, that's, uh, that's the joke uh, we use in chat sometimes. I don't get that joke. Uh, it's because, uh, oh, what is that? Uh, Upper Furnace had something interesting. Yeah, we got it. Oh, it's Sunburst. Okay, okay uh, we got our uh, main PB, uh, as I see from the Great Temple. Yeah, that's been known for a while, but there was no bombs or space jump present at the time. So uh, with bombs in tow, Rayshai has gone and retrieved that for Sluglin. Uh, what is that in Crossway? It looks like a missile tank for Echoes. But probably uh, not needed. <laughs> Uh, well, for Echoes, having extra missiles is definitely not a bad thing. You definitely want to have one expansion because that will give you priority drops. Because once you have 10 missiles, when you go down to zero, there's basic, there's around an 80% chance you'll get a 10 missile drop from anything that would normally give drops. Good, I didn't know that. All right, we're seeing Rayshai act on that intel about Hive Chamber B and head in that direction now. And it looks like Op might be following suit relatively soon as well. We do see an energy tank in Transport Center, so we should be able to catch up on some of the missing information we've uh, not had for the last few minutes. You know what's going to happen soon? We're going to see if we're having uh, a final ice beam or something like that. Because uh, it's a uh, reflecting pool is coming up. Because we have uh, Spooze Ball, Froth Morph Ball Bomb, and we have, uh, yeah, Spooze Ball, Morph Ball Bomb, and we have the Spider for, th for that and Waving. Oh, I didn't see the, um, I didn't see where the, sp oh wait, those are Power Bombs, sorry. Um, yeah, because this area, uh, the, tra the trip up the uh, Spider <coughs> Track isn't currently in logic in this difficulty, so... Uh, if there is a major upgrade back here, it'll definitely uh, throw us into one of our many logic conundrums that we routinely run into. Uh, for point one, we're currently we well, what do we have? We have logic. Oh. And later, <laughs> I'm, oh my god! Okay, ice beam required for and later. Now that's some trash right there. But Rayshai has just discovered a various suit in Hive Chamber B, so that's the hinted major upgrade. So what we're going to see here, Slugland's going to go ahead and save now uh, after receiving various suit, pick up that Annihilator Beam, and then just reset right back to that save room. <laughs> okay, or, I think they're maybe pr planning to do a way to get past it. There you go. Okay, that's the thing I didn't know. Power bomb the door. Yeah, because what happens is the door closes, but the power bomb hitbox is still there, allowing you to um, open the door from the other side effectively. That's another thing I didn't know. I'm just too used to uh, to tr uh, to uh, trust my execution to just go fast. Indeed. All right, so we're going to see what's coming up on Echo's side. Uh, Op82 is going to give us Junction Sight, so we'll see what is found here. And it appears to be a beam tank. So with him later, we have all uh, we have light, uh, we have uh, dark wall and li uh, light wall access. Yeah, actually, for Echoes, we just flat out have all beams, which is a very rare occurrence uh, <laughs> under 20 minutes in. 
Uh, not not the all beam. Uh, do, do we have dark beam? Yes, we do. Uh, dark okay. beam was found very early. Um, I want to say it was probably portal access A, if not somewhere in main plaza. Oh, so there's my. So there's my dream of a curse of a curse long time seed. Okay, there, there there's the dark ammo. We have the last dream of the of the long curse seed. Yeah. <laughs> those. I Again, the real long curse seeds tend to be from something like um, <laughs> light suit being required. Like if we get something in like hive entrance, hive entrance is a really tough one because that requires a lot of items because it requires power bombs, light suit, screw attack, and dark visor. So quite a lot of items. Now we know that there is an artifact here in GFMC, Rayshai Z heading in that direction now. We don't know what's on the ship, and I would wager Rayshai has already taken out Jump Guardian by now. Yeah, I didn't say that, but yeah, that that's right, the Jump Guardian is uh, spawning that item. In fact, I would wager that's definitely what happened, because otherwise Sluglin wouldn't have boost ball, because I would wager that's probably where it is. But the other item is Echo's main power bombs. You absolutely love to see that in GFMC crate. Yeah, that's maybe... Uh, uh, did we see that as a major upgrade? Uh, that was the artifact at GFMC. The art well, the artifact must be on the ship, then, if the, um, the power bomb is in the crate. There. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. dupe. Uh, do being the power bomb. Uh, yeah. That's nice. Main power bombs and a progressive suit or progressive grapple if those are enabled, which they're not in this preset, but those are the best things to get at GFMC. <clears throat> and it turns out the boost ball that I, it, uh, so I may be mistaken, Rayshai may have not gone to Jump Guardian because the boost ball that was hinted earlier is the Echo's boost ball. Interesting. So Echo's has boost already, which is very good for a speed advantage. That's going to help out all about uh, help op out quite a bit. Yeah, there we will. Uh, Prime and Echo's uh, as boost. <laughs> uh, now, Op's got to be a tiny bit careful here, because uh, has been playing quite dangerously, uh, but she has it all under control. Well done. Yeah, in Prime, we can easily manage. Uh, no, we think that's easily manageable. Depending the region you are, that is. As long as it's not a phase on mine, it is man manageable. Alright, Mighty Caesar has just discovered Echo Visor in Root Cave. Uh, so Echo Visor for Prime, uh, that is, uh, for Root Cave, I should say, that requires X-Ray and Grapple Beam on top of Space Jump. So interesting, we're seeing Echo locked behind that. And uh, did I see, do I see a Space Jump? No, that's a Super Missile. For Prime, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Definitely something that they want to see at this point. Uh, we see an energy tank in Arbor Chamber, so Mighty Seas are having very little trouble with the Arbor Chamber out of bounds, especially courtesy of bombs. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so Echo Visor is logged by X-Ray and Space Jump. Do we, uh, that we already have a Space Jump and Grubble Beam, logically speaking. Indeed. <clears throat> now that being said, Echo being in Root Cave isn't the biggest deal right this minute, because right now Echo Visor doesn't do us anything. Um, um I would say we are, we have only later beams, so that's uh is I don't know the I don't know beam uh known. So that's a thing to consider. That's true, actually. With that equipment, we are able to do Profane Path, for example. That that actually should be in... Well, it's not in Logic right now, because we don't have a way out. We either would need Emerald Translator or Dark Visor plus Seeker Missiles, uh, neither of which we found yet. And you know, with Echo Visor, <coughs> you can do... Uh, uh, I want to do a, a, a lot of Aerie Seed, because it's Curse Seed. You will, you go, you will have a safe trip out of uh, Aries on oh, yes. Echoes, I think, that is. Aerie would be some <laughs> nice curse to see. Now, that being said, right now, both games do have quite a lot to do, courtesy of various suit and wave beam for Prime and all beams and uh, bombs for Echoes. Now, granted, Echoes could really do its space jump to really blow the seed wide open, but they're doing quite well with the equipment they have at the moment. Um, with Light Beam and Dark Beam, for example, without Space Jump, they should still be able to access stuff in labs, which Op is doing right now. 
And even without <laughs> Space Jump, <laughs> nice nothing in Tower of Light. Um... <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the uh, things. Like I said, Grapple Beam in the Magma Pool. Well, that explains where that was hiding. <clears throat> Dark, I can keep two. <laughs> yeah, <it's... clears throat> well, but with the Tower of Light, I'm really done. That proves the point that I was I was saying. My I know my story is good at Prime One, not because I raised him, but I I know he's good at Prime One, Prime One, and that's proof that. Indeed. All right. So Office discovered a Sky Temple key in Storage D, which luckily we've got Dark Beam, so that's an easy out. Uh, we're gonna see what the item here is in um, Main Reactor. Now this item currently is out of logic until we find spider ball or screw attack screw attack will let us get the <clears> item without um spider ball but okay uh, that... him caesar uh Rizzle related weapon i don't know what it is the rest uh so that's in dark oasis but that's dead because the only missile system in prime one is the missile launcher itself <laughs> which our runners start with by default so uh luckily that's dead because Mi dark oasis it's missile related. That could be, uh, I think, uh, this, is it beam combo? Uh, 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 a separate category? Or is uh, it missile related weapon? That's a very good question. But uh, the beam combos are considered beam related upgrades, not missile related. So the uh, only missile related upgrade in Prime specifically is the missile launcher itself. Which again, our runners start with, so it's pretty much irrelevant. Oh, but Mighty Caesars just discovered Space Jump in. Oh uh, yeah, that was Watery Hall access. Uh, uh, th oh no, Gallery Tunnel is where it was. Yeah, I'll take I, that back. That was a. Uh, I, I told by here where where we was when there were we had problems. Ah uh, yes. So my here is uh, knowing my game is is still correct. <laughs> So this basically puts the entirety of the uh, the labs loop that Op is going through into logic, uh, which is really good because that'll give uh, that'll give them plenty of stuff to do right now. And the E tank is a really great to have. It's more, it's better to have in Echoes than in Prime One. I but would very much agree. I mean, at Prime, you want to have a few energy tanks, especially for final <laughs> bosses and for mid slash late game. But at the same time, for Echoes, I say that once you get two E-Tanks, it's relatively safe to traverse the Dark World. Any more is basically insurance, uh, except for very specific scenarios. But I've noticed with Randavania, as of late, the game has a very hard time giving Echoes players a suit early. Either it has a hard time giving them a suit early, or it just throws a light suit onto their lap before they're done with Aegon. So take your pick. I'll take the light suit. <laughs> All right, Op discovers yet another Sky Temple key in the uh, bioenergy production. Uh, oh, looks like uh, Mighty Caesar tried to magma pool scan dash, but couldn't pull it off. Ah, uh, that's sad. Cause it's... I hope he's go back. Cause he'll be missing his grapple beam. Or, or otherwise, is that gravity boost? No, that's a. That's an upgrade for Echoes, and I don't know why. Uh, that was Spider Ball. Uh, oh, so they have Wave is... Beam. They have Wave Beam, so that's good. Yeah, that's a pretty easy Spider Ball for Echoes, and that's definitely a nice big plus. That puts Main Reactor into logic. Uh, that puts the Spider's Treasure area. Uh, we call the Sank Spider Side area Spider's Treasure because, especially in the 2020 tournament, I want to say, it was very common to have progression there. Uh, not uh, so much. Do you, do you see Spider Treasure like a Spider Guardian? Uh. It's not specifically referring to the items on Spider Guardian. It's more referring to the item, the areas that are right outside the elevator, which in this context are Hall of Combat Mastery, Hazing Cliff, and Culling Chamber are the room names. Uh, oh, and, okay, those. Yeah, so it's the, it's the floor right below, basically. <coughs> um, Spider Guardian himself, we don't have to really worry about for a while because we don't have Cobalt Translator. That being said, that is pretty much the only thing stopping us from fighting Spider Guardian, and uh, a grapple also is stopping us from fighting Spider Guardian. But other than that, not a whole lot stopping us from fighting Spider Guardian. <laughs> yeah, a lot of uh, upgrades that are in Primes are significantly better to get in Echoes, and significantly 
uh, like, oh, that's her, that's a. I want to use the right word there. <clears throat> that is a such a hassle to not have th those item in Echoes uh, rather than Prime One. Indeed. Uh, looks like a missile tank in Command uh, Center, and what was uh, that in Ice Ruins East? I, oh! That's, I think that was Screw Attack, maybe. That was Screw Attack, all right, which means we need Plasma Beam for that. So, all right, so we've got some interesting information to unpack here. We've got a an Annihilator Beam locked by Ice in Antichamber, and we've got a Plasma Beam locking Screw Attack in Ice Ruins East. So... Yeah, that's a lot to unpack from a logic standpoint here. So where are our, be our prime beams? That's the big question. Uh, and that goes about beams. The beams are rather more significant to get in prime ones rather than echoes. Because <clears throat> you only get light and dark beam early not in, in vanilla echoes. So that's, yeah, okay. But for what that's they can be huge. Yeah, the prime beams are especially powerful uh, because of how many more doors they they involve. It's with echoes. Yes, the beams do matter, especially if you can get one early. That is a big deal. And whichever one you get, there's plenty a relatively decent amount you can do. The probably the least effective, obviously, annihilator because it doesn't open that many doors. Even though it does give you portals. That being said. Um, we're going to see Op check the lab's uh, dark area now while we get an early wild attempt from Mighty Caesar. Now, doesn't have a whole lot of energy tanks to pull this off. Oh, we're saying, uh, flying and going, uh, uh, uh a trick for us, uh, uh, to, to try to get that, uh, screw attack. I wouldn't be against that, because that's a huge reward, but maybe a high risk. So the gamble is definitely there. Indeed, and we're going to be seeing a lot of advanced trickery from our runners as this tournament goes. Uh, we've already seen a bunch in the few matches that we've uh, broadcast over the course of the last few days. And folks, if you thought you were seeing a lot of info today, a uh, lot of matches today, buckle up because Friday we got a whopping four matches on tap for you. Unfortunately, it looks like Slug fell out of bound before picking up Screw Attack. Yeah, that was everything. High risk, high reward. Indeed. Now, I don't remember when Slug's last save was, is the only problem. Yeah, that's the thing. If it's in Fendrana, then it must have been... Okay, it's in Fendrana, so it must have been at uh, Shoreline, so it couldn't have been too much of a problem. Yeah, we got the Sky Temple key, too, from... Uh, I would say that's uh, the Vanal the Dark being spot. Indeed. Mm, excuse me. Um... Let's see. So we're going to get the battleground checks now from Op. We're only going to be able to check the item and not the ink cache uh, due to a lack of dark visor. That appears to be a missile tank. Yeah, it has, uh, echo missile sets. So that's a, yeah. All right. We're going to see Ray make the quick play to main reactor and find out what actually is back here. And it appears to be another missile. <clears throat> Part one missile. Yeah, we want a, a definitely a few <clears throat> items for, uh, for labs because... Shoot two missile, two missile power pirates, and they're down. And you see the C stick, uh, up C stick, and you spam missile. Then you just uh, you remove the cooldown. You remove the cooldown from uh, firing a missile without that. Nothing and wrong with some advanced trickery, indeed. Yeah, rapid fire missiles a great trick. <clears throat> um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call that trick. I would call that knowledge at that, that point. More like a quirk, a gameplay quirk more than anything. <laughs> that all being said, Mighty Caesar currently fighting Ghost. Now, is having a bit of trouble here because no X-ray visor or super missiles, either or, or both especially, would make this super easy. But it looks like Slug fell again in Ice Ruins East. Yeah. yeah. She really wants <clears throat> this, uh, she really wants this screw attack for, um, for Ray. Yeah. The screw attack w will be, uh, insane. That would be a huge advantage, cause that all that almost remove all the uh, grubble beam itself. Grubble gra guardian it will move maybe 
correct me if I'm wrong, except for Grapple Guardian, it will move all Grapple Beam check. Uh, there are no checks in Echoes that <laughs> Screw Attack cannot do that Grapple Beam does. Or the point being that... is Screw Attack invalidates all Grapple Beam checks. Um, Grapple are Guardian, there... you can. there are still some ledges you can climb up in the back of the room that are meant to give you the platform to get to the Grapple Ledge or the grapple point, but it's still high enough to screw attack over to the other side, no problem. <clears throat> so it's, um, basically there's nothing grapple beam, uh, can do that screw attack can't do better. <clears throat> it looks like Mighty Caesar's just now received main power bombs from Op because the thing is, Op hasn't had a real excuse to go back to Great Temple with the way their light beam and their beam path thing and uh, their equipment is routed out for early Aegon. And it's not a bad play to continuously move on through Aegon as long as you possibly can, because typically, at least in these presets, uh, Aegon tends to be rather loaded. So you just, it's really up to your own judgment whether you want to stay in the area or bust out and it varies by C, but historically generally we see runners try and tough it out in Aegon if they can help it. Uh, me personally I want to go I want to be uh all in a fort. Ooh. Oh beam a late upgrade on now but, uh, that is Ing Reliquary. Now, that is a very interesting beam-related check, because that could very well be Super Missiles. Uh, super Missiles uh, are considered beam-related. Uh, so that's for Prime 1? Uh, no, they are Prime 2s. No, for so for, Echo, for Echo, is it's considered beam-related? Yes, for both games, Super Missiles are considered beam-related. They're considered charge beam combos, <clears throat> which is why they're considered beam-related. <clears throat> And yeah, you can see Slug okay. is starting to get a little frustrated here with her um, issues getting screw attack here. Yeah, I'm trying to... yeah, continue. I'm trying to think if, yeah, because right now Prime does still have stuff they can do at the moment. With her current equipment, Slug can do labs and go all the way through to observe it, uh, to research core. So there's quite a few items that it, it's a tough call to make when you're trying to get major items like do you prioritize the big items or do you prioritize density and hope that you get the item you need falling on your lap now that being said ray's gonna go ahead and check out uh our spider's treasure check here uh i don't see anything in hall of combat mastery by the way the artifact was on the ship on in gfc compound indeed it was so Unfortunately, we don't know where the vast majority of our artifacts are. We know one of them is in Cache B, which is in Dark Torvis, Upper Dark Torvis. All right, Mighty Caesar gets the scan dash this time for Magma Pool. Uh, first item received was a, I think it was a missile. Uh, it was a light ammo tank. Okay. Oh no, that's the light ammo. Okay, the streams might just be a little desynced then. Uh, what do we got in Training Chamber? Is that a multiplayer pickup? Uh, might have been. I couldn't tell if that was a multiplayer pickup or a light ammo tank. A multiplayer pickup in this context takes the form of basically a hybrid beam ammo tank, which is the normal beam ammo model. Um, oh, Mighty Caesar, unfortunately, just barely could not make it out. But on the flip side, though, uncovered the area, uh, got the information about the area, and didn't pick up any major items. So it's perfectly fine that Mighty Caesar gets a gets a KO here and resets. It really isn't that consequential. And we're seeing the warp to start now. Slug still really wants to get Ray this screw attack. For the time advancement now, me personally, I. Would say that if she, if that continue, that will be a time uh, too much time sink, and yeah. that will put them behind. Yeah, but this... by now, by quite a bit. Yeah, it's it's a matter of I think sunk cost fallacy for for slug because at this point <clears throat> you've already spent so much time, and if you put in this much time and you still can't uh, end with the item, it's really just is a. It's, it's hard to recover from that. 
uh, from a mental standpoint as well as uh, the fact as your position in the game. So in their mind, it's better to just keep toughing it out, trying to finish this. We'll see if uh, we'll see if she eventually decides to abandon it. But for now, she's committing. Can't fault can't fault it. I mean, it is screw attack we're talking about, which is probably probably one of the most broken pickups in Echoes. Um, because it it there you go. Okay, now that was worth it. Yeah, it definitely if... took quite some time, but I think we'll see how this plays out. Because my Caesar still hasn't even gone to Fendrana, so doesn't even know about it. Uh, and granted, that will change soon. Actually, uh, my Caesar's missing various suit. Uh, because Op has not yet gone to Hive Chamber B. Interestingly, uh, she's not going in the Hive Chambers. It looks like is more interested in checking the landing site hint, which discovers that Defiled Shrine is a key of some I'd... kind. So key. Mm, that will be a temple key or a region key. Uh, yep. Either or, which we'll find out soon enough. Now, unfortunately... Um, Mighty Caesar uh, doesn't know this, but there's no need for Varialis Magmore, as Op will very soon be uh, grabbing Varius suit. Yeah, the the light Magmore is uh, not super heated, so you don't yeah. need Varia there. That's very true. Now, that being said, uh, this is currently out of logic. The One of the two things you need to get to this point are either Gravity Suit or Spider Ball. <clears throat> Uh, for later, Magmar, it's, yeah, that, yeah, sp uh, you do more likely just spider, spider Ball, because a Spider Ball and it, you could say Thermal Visor and Beating Dar Tardis. Because there's one way, and it's the other. Because you take the, the elevator that we're going to see right now on uh, my d Caesar screen, that one. Which which is leads to Tardis could do that way here, or just go for Magmar, which would need a virus suit. Now it's it's interesting to note here. Although Slug picked up Screw Attack, uh, Ray is still <coughs> missing Space Jump. So now that being said, that was some incredible movement there to not have to worry about that problem. I have got to give Ray some serious credit for that, because first off, I've never seen that move before. Uh, second, that was some really great scan dashing. Hmm. Scan dashing, uh, things I will never, Taco to never learn, but hey, I do that for my execution, it's dead. But yeah, we'll give it credit. I didn't see it. But we'll give credit. Yeah, because Ray's um, space jump is... I'm trying to remember where the Echo space jump actually was. Um, <sighs> I don't remember if... I think Prime, it's in the Prime 1 seed. I'm just trying to remember exactly where in Prime 1 it was. Is that like... For the Prime 1? Isn't that like the... The Gathering All or more of... Morph Ball Bomb Tunnel Rune near I told them. Yeah, Ruin Gallery Tunnel, that's it. So yeah, so Slug's been... So what Slug <clears> ended <throat> up doing after Bombs must have been committing straight through Magmore after Very Suit especially, must have been to commit through Magmore to um, Fendrana, but unfortunately, because she's missed out on a Gallery Tunnel and hasn't gone back for that yet, uh, she's missing out on sending Space Jump to Reishai. <clears throat> that, that is... Gallery Tunnel is unfortunately an easy spot to miss if your route doesn't let you go back in that direction. Because right now, I don't foresee anything that would send Slugland back to Chozo except Ice Beam. Because most of Chozo by this point is cleaned out. Did they clean? Uh, we couldn't see it. I see it, but did they clean I've told them? Uh, I would wager Zoid has been dealt with by this point. I say I've told them, not Zoid. Oh, Hive Totem. Um, it, mu it was an expansion, if I recall from earlier. Um, I remember hearing the expansion noise immediately followed by the... Um, what's it called? Uh, immediately followed by the artifact noise. <clears throat> yeah, so no Hive Totem. There's really not much chance. 
Yeah, so we're seeing Slug do the Arbor Chamber out of bounds as well uh, that uh, Mighty Caesar <laughs> did earlier. So again, sends a nice energy tank to Echoes, which to be fair, Ray is not going to say no to at this point, considering uh, that uh, that was 93 energy at the time. So Op is going to give us our Spider's Treasure Dive. Now this should be a much relatively easier check for them. Easier check? Mm, uh, how many things do they got? <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of E. Now, granted, we're still running suitless, so you're not going to say no to five energy tanks. But once you finally do come across that suit for Echoes, your game is practically free. On five, I would say that's... Uh, uh, thinking that's Ink Hive, that's really, uh, relatively scary. Indeed, yeah. Ener every energy tank gives you just about a little over 16 seconds of Dark Aether time, so on various suit, having five will give you just a little over a minute and a half. Uh, now, it looks like Op is interested in this um, upper sanctuary dive here, so uh, what she's going to do here is go up the elevator, and uh, uh, with Echo Visor, we are actually able to... Well, actually, without Spider Ball, I think um, has just realized that there's no point... Uh, seeing as we cannot actually get the item without Spider Ball. It's possible to do, but also very dangerous, because if you fall down Hive Gyro, you soft lock. Uh. All right, so now Slug's going to go ahead and do the Tower of Light checks. Uh, we'll see if this actually encourages her to go back for Gallery Tunnel, which is going to be really good if that's the case, because that's going to give Ray Space Jump, which could not be um, at a moment too soon, because we know there's an artifact chilling on the ship. But it looks like Ray's going to make up for that with an extended dash to try and get that anyway. There is also a mini Slope Jump NSJ Screw Attack method you can use to get on the ship. Um, but it looks like Ray is more comfortable with the extended dash. Now, let's talk for a second about our temple bosses, because after everything we have seen, it looks like a second Aegon key popped up while I wasn't looking, and Op has two, and there's a Torvis key somewhere as well. But that still doesn't open up any of our bosses right away, so we're still in a very peculiar situation where... If our runners are need to fill up a bottleneck, it's not because of a major boss. Oh, so you said a major So Yeah, so why did so why didn't I maybe miss? Uh well right now there's still stuff our runners can do because with um well actually, let me think. We don't have Torvus access because we need either Seeker Missiles and Emerald Translator or Super Missiles. Or dark suit. <clears throat> and uh, and I uh, was kind of already has, but like it's not the uh, the best of the world since like five E tank is is he is very yeesh and dangerous. <clears throat> Unless Indeed. you have dark suit. Now, Once you have dark suit, it's relatively okay. Safe? No. Okay? Yes. And that's why... You know, that's where the analogy will be coming play with the Echo Visor. Indeed, we're gonna see that Profane Path check, and Ray not getting Space Jump not a moment too soon, because with Screw Attack in tow, this will also give him the ability to check uh, phase on Grounds, because that was previously out of play until we saw we had um, proper Screw Attack. Now, that being said, with four energy tanks, uh, it's not too bad of a trip, but it looks like Ray's going to pass up on it for now. It's a profane... Pa <coughs> it's where you have, you have no light zone. No light zone. So, no dark suit. With no dark suit, I'd say that's... Uh, very, I'll probably have done the same. I don't do echo much, but because... Echoes? 
it, it is a very dangerous check, but to be fair, one nice perk about screw attack is that when you are actively in the screw attack animation, uh, you are actually, your damage uh, per second does actually get drastically reduced on Varia. It's not quite, that's where the Torvus key was in Magma Pool. Um, sorry, distracted a bit. Um, when screw attacking, your damage per second goes down to about two, whereas for Dark Suit, it's like 1.2, uh, like one and a quarter. But the point being, um, when screw attacking, you do take less Dark World damage, which does help protect you for such traversals like Phase on Grounds, for example. But you're, you only go in straight line. Indeed. Luckily, Phase on Grounds and the room up to it are mostly straight lines. But then if you're focusing on screw attacking for uh, <coughs> Dark Hater, uh, I'm and uh, environment damage, then you're not focusing on the on the uh, the dark Metroid that could just suck you out and you'd be dead. Well, they could do that, but luckily, screw attack <coughs> is just as effective on them as it would for colliding them with a door. Yeah, <coughs> I mean, I mean, when you you're going for another screw attack, not when you're screw attacking, when you need to do another. The in, the in between Bowman, I mean. I getcha, I getcha. Now, we're seeing Mighty Caesar finally make the dive into uh, Fendrana. This is going to give Op the uh, Spider Ball, which actually doesn't come up at a bad time because with our current equipment, uh, Sank Entrance is actually in play. Uh, actually, no, it's not. We need Emerald Translator. I take that back. Um. Oh. Actually, let me think this through for a minute. Ooh, sorry. Uh, let me think this through for a second because we're in a peculiar scenario where we are actually kind of starting to run out of checks. The Flagra. Only, uh, we've seen Flogger already because uh, Mighty Caesar did Flogger, then did Early Wild for Ghosts. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Uh, so <clears throat> we've seen Flogger, we've seen Early Wild. Uh, I'm thinking Labs right now. And I'll tell you why, because I think that is basically all we, uh... Well, Which no, lab? Cash, uh, uh, Fendrana Lab, excuse me. Yeah, I, uh, maybe I should clarify with, with uh, both games. Um, uh, you could say Prime Lab, I would know exactly what you're talking about. And that's where the, your, your missile tank will come in handy, because you need a lot of them. Like 50. Uh, if you have 50 missile, you should be more than enough and very comfortable for... Missling out all the pirates. On that note, on the subject of missiles, I do know that somewhere along the line, Op has received unlimited missiles. So you can actually tell by the upper missile count being 255. That's another one of the multiplayer pickups that are enabled by default in this preset. But more importantly, we see a hint from Reishai that says that the reward for returning the Sanctuary Energy, uh, Umos <laughs> 2, is another beam ammo tank. So nothing of importance there. Nice Ing Hive uh key, though. Uh, that's a that's a sad thing because that that's remove a quad. <laughs> Ooh. Dark and risky too, but so you know, have... uh, uh, that, okay, sorry, but that ink ink IFT key too. It's a uh, out of logic because we don't have seeker. That was right. a seeker door, and Indeed. you do it. You, you did it with square hack. Yeah, Secretless Mining Station B definitely up there amongst my favorite Secret Doors to get. Uh, Cash A, I think, is the one I can do the most consistently uh, Secretless. But yeah, that's good to know that there is a Torvus key locked by Secret Missiles. Now, that being said, we've now seen two Torvus keys and two Amorbus keys. and But that's still not three, so we still cannot fight one of those bosses. I'm very surprised... Uh, or actually, no, slow... Uh, Ray did get that, my apologies. but And that's good that we saw Ray pick that up, because my mentality that I go with with Echoes is if you don't have the boss hint, get the key. Because you never know if, for whatever reason, Plasma Beam's just chilling on Chica for some reason. It can happen. <laughs> uh, but for that to happen, if we want to go into specific scenarios for a second here, for Plasma Beam to be on Chica, Grapple Beam has to show up someplace that's not Plasma Locked. Because that's you... Ice Spreader. Oh, okay. Not going to say no to Ice Spreader for final bosses especially. Yeah, that's good for uh, for uh, EXO. Yeah, continue your thought now. 
Excuse me a moment. <clears throat> oh, early war with that. Uh, oh yeah, they don't have spider ball in Prime 1. So that's the early war. Yeah, Prime Spider Ball's been conspicuously absent from this point on. Oh no! Slug almost got the early wild, but fell right at the end. That has got to hurt. Was there any... Uh, 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 maybe they can get back up, get back up from there. Does uh, early wild give something? Uh, it does not, I don't think. I don't think Mighty Caesar found anything noticeable back there. So, yeah. Oh, so there's... Uh, so they don't. So we really need just uh, only spider ball, and that's and uh, that's okay. Indeed, we're gonna get our look at the tree here, but it looks to be more missiles. That's missiles. Right. Met prime one missiles. Uh, so even war more uh, war class. Yeah, spend a super missile to get a super missile. But it looks like Mighty Caesar's plan was to reset a way uh, out of that, just so that way to get, I guess, kind of get it off of their mind while uh, going ahead and turning around. Probably continuing a Fendrana loop here, yeah. Because, yeah, at this point, Labs, I, th I think Labs is actually our only logical play left. Because we're ice locked out of Far Fendrana, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, for Echoes, we can't go to Torvis because we're missing Secret Missiles, we're missing Super Missiles, we're missing Dark Suit, so we can't go to Torvis. In Cache 2 for Echoes is in Logic, um, even though it's a tiny bit out of the way, uh, courtesy of... Actually, no, In Cache 2 is out of Logic until we find Ice Beam. Actually... You know what, you know what I want to I wanna see right now, since we're in Lab? Thermal. You know thermal what vice. Thermal... You know what, with all what you just said? What thermals mean? Uh, thermal would put Thardis into play, yes, because we do have super Thardis. missiles. Yeah, Thardis. <coughs> oh, hang on. Let's see the rest of our artifact hints. Uh, observatory, Sank Entrance. That's not the worst. Torvus Lagoon, Dark Aegon Temple. We got an Amorbus required. <laughs> nice, that's a curse. Yes, yes. I want and a we're... curse. And we're still missing one of the Amorbus keys, so we gotta find uh, we gotta find it eventually. All right, All right. you know, uh, it's, no, it's not gonna see that Tarva Tarva would put Tardis, and but to get out of Tardis, you need either Grapple Beam or you need Spider Ball. Yeah, luckily we and have that, Grapple. And and one of those to upgrade can be on Tardis. Indeed. <clears throat> now, luckily, we have Grapple Beam in this context, so it's not the worst in the world. Oh, uh, they have Grapple out. Beam? Yes, Grapple Beam was in Lava Lake. Oh. No. Oh, yes, all right. That was a prime one, Grapple Beam. Indeed. Now, <laughs> going back to the logic kerfuffle we've got here with where we stand, um, Ice Beam can actually be in in cache 2 right now and i'll tell you why ice beam or anti-chamber is where ice beam was uh not ice beam anti-chamber is where annihilator beam was it is possible for the logic to expect the ooh nice sky temple key in the spider guardian tunnel guess that's required too <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst guardian of all of, of all of them now that's that the being worst. said that key's not the hardest to skip um there's one of two ways you can get that key with that that much difficulty one is a uh a slope jump instant morph backwards into the tunnel uh the method i was trained on was to use screw attack to get into that tunnel although there is a caveat with that method where you could just fall through the tunnel after landing in it it's not great but looks like op's gonna go for the slope jump instant morph method here yeah but that's just suck it that just ruined my fun i want them um, to suffer well, don't worry. Knowing Randovania, it'll put a second Sky Temple key on Spider Guardian itself. So uh, you have nothing that, to fear. Uh, that will be my that will be my joy. Because Spider Guardian is the worst Guardian to fight. Yeah. Now that being Cause, said, because you are forced to use Spider Ball and uh, forced to use Boost Ball, and that's just suck, really bad. 
Now, that being said, it does appear that um, both runners on Echoes are running with four Sky Temple keys. I think, did I pick up the um, tunnel one or did um, did she give up on it? I didn't see. But uh, looks like what we're seeing Ray do here is uh, Ray needs to kind of get back around the gate here to get out of labs. But unfortunately, it looks like he had some trouble. So he's busting out of that trick for now. Somehow that phase on canister scored it. I don't know how. I seen someone in Sanctuary doing the the gyro check, so you know you you got you got echo visor. You got oh yeah, you don't have dark visor. You're right. You need dark visor to be dark Samus too. Uh, you can have either dark visor or echo visor. Oh um, yeah. In this difficulty, the logic expects you to have either <coughs> or. Yeah, you know, echo is not my game. I'm I'm just more casual. So yeah, that's echo because yeah. uh. Do, does Ares is in logic right now? Uh, it is in logic, yes. Um, uh, is it? Let me think. Let me think this through for a minute. Where was Echo Visor again? Uh, X-ray. Uh, see, it, it was uh, uh, root cave. Uh, root, root, cave. root cave. Oh, so <laughs> we haven't seen X-ray yet. So that is still out of logic. So Ares out of play still. And that goes back to what I was saying earlier about the logic. So the logic can expect. Uh, Prime in this case to go get Annihilator Beam and Antichamber and then stay put until Echoes goes to um, Incat 2, for example, for Ice Beam. Sorry to interrupt you, but that is a dark display. Ooh, indeed. Angry Gorignac <laughs> noises. I I did call it that was possible to do. Does that start all? No, but that's a thing possible to do. Uh, I went, and for others, you don't really need a thermal visor to beat it can just do Marvel Bomb. <coughs> Marvel Bomb when you rolls, the, then the, the his score pop up, so you can just shoot it. So that's the, that's the, three realized the need for Thermal Visor. Yeah, bombs are surprisingly OP in this fight. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think Observatory had anything major. Oh, wait, Observatory was an artifact. Uh, not Observatory. Uh, yeah, Observatory was an artifact. Uh, we knew that already. I didn't see what was in Control Tower. Uh, we're going to get a look at Research Lab either here. There's a pair of items available to us. And that is a multiplayer pickup. That is unlimited beam ammo. That is personally one of my favorites. I love not having to worry about beam ammo over the course of my battles. Oh! We got Uncher! Bomb the labs. And Ice Beam! Wow, that is a stacked lab. So labs was, in fact, the play locked by the Prime Boost Ball. So that's big because Annihilator is now properly in logic. Uh, Seekers gives us Torvus access. Uh, Ops play into Upper Sank is actually also perfectly logical with this equipment. And, <clears throat> by the way, Darvis is a fun- is the- the funniest fight to do in Prime 1, by far. <clears throat> yeah, Thardis especially is a much slower fight compared to the others in, um, Prime, courtesy of, uh, the fact that with Flogra, we can now skip the cutscenes. Yeah, it might be slower, but, hey, it's- it's- the funniest one. And you see uh, that's grapple. That's grapple. So you remember how I said earlier that Plasma Beam could be on Chica if Grapple Beam shows up first? That is still, <laughs> that is still very much a logical possibility, but look at this here. Ray is actually performing an Aegon key skip here. So he's actually going to fight Amorbus without the keys. I didn't see that, but okay. Yeah, that was performed very quick. So, uh, based on what I'm seeing here, Ray is very clearly extremely adept at Echo's movement. Um, I have not seen him have a single problem throughout the practically the entirety of this race. But that being said, he did have a bit of a slow start uh, due to the late space jump. <laughs> and that's what we called ex excuse me. So that's what's called execution. Continue now. Indeed. Now, the only downside is Ray is going to have a hard time checking Sky Temple key hints with this equipment because we have no super missiles and we know where Seekers are and Slug is about to head in that direction. 
Uh, and we're seeing Farfan drawn a courtesy of that ice beam. So yeah, Prime can keep themselves quite busy for some time. Because now we have, um, for example, we now have access to some areas in mines. <laughs> uh, we can go all the way down to MQA. Although without yeah. Spider Ball, it's a little rough. Yeah, you have access to all of mines except for lower mines. If you don't have plasma. And you know, plasma me. What's plasma me? Nox, Omega Pirate. It does, which is sort of a blessing in disguise. Nice camera <coughs> uh, from Ray there. But right. you know, you need an eye X-ray for Omega Pirate. It's like hard lock. Uh, it's like hard coded that you need X-ray to beat it. Indeed, that's the only thing I believe that with even wood tricks, you need X-ray visor for. Uh, MR base were indeed uh, required. All right, we got a security cave check from Mighty Caesar, but it's nothing. All right, uh, so it looks like Ray has Reese. Oh, right, because it was an artifact. So Ray actually doesn't even need to do the trick to get out of the temple, can just pick up the artifact and go. Interesting play to do that without uh, knowing the rest of the knowledge of uh, like keys and stuff. Usually I would see, in my experience, I would see a move like that when runners are in go mode. Because in the time it's taken Ray to go ahead and pick up the artifact, um, Ray has been missing out on grabbing a few potential items, such as the ones in Upper Sanctuary. Yeah, but you can say, uh, <coughs> you can arguably say that <coughs> uh, if you do it now, you don't have to do it later. That's true, and I think the vast majority of Ray's, uh, of, of Ray's obligations to Slug have been completed, save for a couple of artifacts in Torvis, like Cash B, for example, which Cash B can also be picked up out of bounds. Oh, you know what, see, you know what, see, here now, like, the, I see on the RWP, uh, screen, that, the that, that first key to, uh, Dark Traverse Key 2 that was in out of logic uh, earlier is not in logic. Uh, yes it is. <laughs> uh, courtesy of those secret missiles from Aether. Research Lab Aether. Because <laughs> there's, now there's two Aethers. So, uh, yeah, and Op is uh, again acting on the knowledge of if you don't have the hint, get the key. Uh, because for all we know, again, Chica could very well have our plasma beam right now. I want Which which would, put, which would put Screw Attack into logic. Um, so yeah, this is a very this is a very strange play we've got going on right now. <coughs> and we've seen runners use actually very different methods up to this point. Of uh, both our Echoes runners use very different methods for getting the item to Mining Station B. Ray did a multi BSJ right up the side of the uh, rock face with the lower drill. Op is, however, uh, raising the drill and then slope jumping up to some standable in the sort of uh, sand cage section uh, in order to jump over to the Sky Temple, uh, not Sky Temple Key, Torvis Key that way. Yeah, and, and that's the Ive Key Tree. Tell me there's something on Quad. I wonder if there's something more. Tell me there's something on Quad. M Maybe there is, because we're still missing a considerable number of major items. We're missing for Prime. We're missing Plasma Beam, Gravity, Phazon, X-Ray, Spider Ball. Tarmol, uh, Tarmol, uh, you could say arguably Tarmol, but yes and no for Tarmol. Uh, Thermal's true as well. Um, what else are we missing? For Echoes, we're missing Gravity Boost, which is kind of meh. Uh, uh, super uh, Missiles, uh, Dark Visor, both suits. And two I would, translators. I would argue on your mouth for gravity boost. Dark Tarv Tarvis. Just because of uh, Tarvis, lower Tarvis. Yeah, that's what. That was I would argue on your map and say, no, that's no, that's a good thing to have. For Transit Tunnel East especially, gravity is very <laughs> good to have. Uh, for Torvis Lagoon, we know there is an artifact there. Uh, Torvis Lagoon, you don't need gravity for. You can get that with uh, by performing a trick called Air Underwater. And how that works is that you morph on the frame. Your camera passes over the plane of the water. Uh, in doing so, you're able to screw attack underwater, which gives you a little more height. Um, so you can get the item in Lagoon. Don't tell me that Dresha 
for <coughs> forgot to fully scan the the hint on the Torvus energy controller. Uh, Ray is not able to scan the hint on Torvus energy controller due to a lack of Emerald Translator. Oh. So yeah, that this is actually something that happens a lot in Rando Seeds, and this can be a very big pain for the Echoes players, is that we've now gone through the vast majority of the game on only Violet and Amber translators, and unfortunately, those lock uh, the other two translators lock out the majority of your hints, because uh, there are five Violet, five Amber, six Emerald, and six Cobalt hints. So the majority of your hints are not available to you right now, which, especially considering how many majors we're still missing an hour in, that's a bit rough. So the curse that we all have a required <coughs> Armorbius. We have a let's say a required TARDIS. That's a good thing. That's a good start. It that could be lot. it could that be a required see. TARDIS. Oh. Gravity boost. And we found Dark Visor as <laughs> well in frozen um in the frozen pond, uh, what frozen is that in the background? <clears throat> uh, frost cave. So yeah, we found we found dark visor and frost cave. We found uh, gravity boost in Torvis Temple access. So we're, our majors are starting to come. Uh, those majors that I've been saying were sorely missing are starting to come to life here. Now that being said, without super missiles, gravity for the most part is kind of useless. There's another red key. That locks a boss right now, so that can either be the last Torvus key or a Morbus key. And it is the last worm key, but luckily Ray doesn't need to get that. Ooh, that's a mildly wonky spot for that, honestly. That's a a, a bug for beam related? I didn't see that. Uh that is a <laughs> beam related upgrade for Ray. That could also be super missiles. So, either Reliquary or Poison Ball could be Super Missiles, but those are both Light Suit locked in caches. So, yeah. I want to see that. I want, to su I want them to suffer. So, it looks like the remaining artifacts, the remaining two artifacts for Slug are Cache B and Sank Entrance. Now, Sank Entrance, we need Emerald Translator for. Cache B, we need Super Missiles for. <coughs> so, unfortunately, uh... Ray is not able to complete his obligations to Slug at this time. So he said from Dark Visor. <coughs> so <coughs> with what you all just said and that and the Dark Visor, are we saying Ashika? Are we saying the Shika play? I'm sorry. Uh, the Chica, we're still waiting on one key. Yeah, uh, and and a part of that key. A part of that key, well, uh, everything else? Um, I'm trying to th think. Uh, so Ray wanted to check, I think, the backside of Torvus for a second and skip Emerald, but it looks like he's decided against it and go is going to Dark Torvus instead. And yeah, even without Super Missiles, we could still virtually toss the whole place here because we can simply just go through the Putrid Alcove path here on the right to reach um, Venomous Pond that way. Now, if I'm mistaken and cash A is where the artifact is, that's not a big deal because that's an easy... Uh, for Ray, that should be a fairly simple screw attack uh, to skip that secret lock. And even then, Ray's got secret missiles anyway, so not a big deal. We're seeing a plasma processing check from Mighty Caesar, so we're going to see if Vanilla Plasma Beam is the answer, and it is a Sky Temple <laughs> key. <laughs> plasma wow, lock. that's a dumb spot for... That's a dumb spot <laughs> for a Sky Temple key, but it looks like Mighty Caesar's just going to take the reset here and send it over. Plasma processing, that's a place I normally check and say Plasma Prime Command kind of to, <coughs> to Prime 1 is That's a thing like, okay, Plasma Processing is a thing Not like, uh, no, I ignore it I normally say, that is a thing And I only want to check right, But yeah, um... that's me, Plasma Beam in large uh, Is required, if, even for Final Boss It is Ooh. required for Echoes Indeed. Now, Ray's discovered a very vital item here in Venomous Pond. That is Cannonball, which, if we have to fight Chica for any reason, that is an excellent <clears throat> spot for that. So, um, Cannonball, for those not in the know, that is an item the game normally gives you. And yeah, we're going to see the cash be out of bounds here from Ray. Uh, just like that, easy screw attack out of bounds. 
Um, but yeah, going back on Cannonball for a second here. Uh, so Cannonball is an item the game gives you when you're chucked out of a kinetic orb cannon. It's meant to be taken away from you when you collide with the terrain. Uh, however, if you... Normally in vanilla, how you get Cannonball is that you use a cannon in a only partially loaded room, like, say, Worker's Path, for example, when you have Sank Temple loaded. Just to give an example. Um... But in the randomizer, we've made it a physical item you can pick up, which uses the Echo's Boost Ball model. Um, in Cannonball State, when you're morphed, you deal 500,000 damage per frame to vulnerable enemies. You are invulnerable yourself. Uh, and you deal a different type of Boost Ball damage that some things don't break from. Um, for example, uh, the glass in Main Gyro Chamber is vulnerable to Cannonball. The plants in Torvis Temple, or in Torvis, are not vulnerable to Cannonball. Uh, Resbits are quad weak to Cannonball for some reason. Chica is vulnerable to Cannonball. Oh, hi, Phazon Suit. Where have you been this whole seed? Oh, that's right, on soon. Phazon Mine. Phazon Mine, and uh, I don't know where that room, the room name, but I know where, uh, what is exactly that room. And Elite. that's that, and that's a, uh, Elite kind of early, uh, uh, kind of early uh, phase on mine check. It's really good to get that now because that <laughs> is one thing that now Slug doesn't have to worry about after picking up the artifacts is getting the phase on suit hint and then having to go find it because this would have been a bad backtrack to go find that later. Oh, Slug's getting bullied here, and doesn't have a power bomb. Oh, that's easy. Just, just do. Uh, yeah, he's being uh, and a missile. That's to the trick. All right, so AWP is now, what is this play here? This is, uh, where did AWP go in from? Was this at Temple Grounds? Is this a play for hints? It is a play for hints. Oh, this is gonna be a dangerous play here. So how does AWP wanna do this? Wait, okay. is that a, a Vincent and Jen Shaft? Uh, what, did I still miss all something good? Uh, we'll see in a minute. So, okay, so AWP didn't wanna go to, um, Check hints. This is just a play for Torvis without super missiles. Still not a bad play given what we know. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, like, didn't have uh, any uh, power bomb, so we could. Uh, I so very, very ancient stuff could have been done. Yeah, you need a. Oof. You need a boost ball to get out. You need uh, a power bomb just to, to clear the vegetation shaft. All right, what have we got for um, the item down here? Um, let's see. All right, so it looks like Slug's at least picking up, well, wants to pick up some power bombs, but uh, isn't quite getting the luxury. Yeah, that's the droid. That's the uh, uh, power bomb droid. I'll say power bomb droid because it's only where you get power bomb in the vanilla game. All right, AWP is going to give us another hint here. Uh, the last violent hint we have not yet seen, and this one reads to us, let's see. The Aegon keys are irrelevant because we've already found all of them. Thanks, game. Thanks a bunch. <clears throat> I don't know if AWP checked the meeting grounds hint. I think I missed that one. Oh, yeah, for the maze of that door, uh, door there... All getting uh, randomized there. Uh, for uh, they are randomized for all uh, seed or maybe even more than one. Yeah, I don't was... know how many parts don't they, they exist at all. But I think maybe forty-two, if I remember. <coughs> but yeah, yeah that... there, there is mini pack. Yeah, that maze was pretty nasty. Uh, now it looks like we're gonna see Mighty Caesar do Life Grove Tunnel here. This is perfectly easy and perfectly safe to do with Boost Ball. Okay, um, so I can see the end from up the WP side is a poison bug with uh, beam related um, beam related upgrade. Yeah, we've known about that one for a hot minute now. Uh, we unfortunately we can't get that one without light suit, um, which is it's really starting to bother me now that we have still yet to see a suit, um, and we're now an hour and twenty minutes in, and we have seen a very large amount of both games. Large amount of both games, I will see. That's still a little for one, one hour twenty. That's still a little. Yeah, because we've now seen we've seen about half of Torvis and all of Aegon for Echoes, and pretty much all of Temple Grounds. We haven't seen the whole of Sank, but 
we've seen a good chunk of it. Uh, for Prime, we're pretty much only not... Uh, we only pretty much haven't seen Frigate, Lower Mines, and... That's about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Frigate's bugging me now, too. Now, I know we haven't seen Gravity Suit yet, but even still... I came about Frigate, uh, Slug is going for it. And it looks like uh, Mighty Caesar is going for a bar skip as well, so maybe we'll see a reverse Frigate play out of Mighty Caesar here? Bar skip, that's a... Uh, if we don't get it right away, it's uh, it could be a 5, uh, five to... At uh, least a 5 minute time sink, or 2 maybe, let's say probably 30, 30 minutes. Yeah, bar skip is a very, very rough trick. Oh, there we go. It didn't take too long at all. About a minute and a half tops. Mm. Yeah, it's either you get it very fast or you're gonna you're gonna be in you're gonna be in a, in a rough time. Now it should be noted, I believe Ray skipped Emerald Translator to get up to this point <clears throat> uh, in the backside of Torvis, so I don't think it's uncovered any vital items. I don't see uh, I don't see super missiles lit up. I don't see any new keys lit up. Yeah, uh, so it looks like. For those who don't know, normally for a uh, frigate, you I think the logic will work. I don't know that in that quality, but it will normally require you thermal visor. So that's uh, a technically out of logic, since Indeed. we do not have thermal. Indeed. Now, I believe with thermal in tow, up to cargo freight lift would be in logic still. You could have gravity suit all the way up here, which would be a jerk move. But it can happen, but instead it has a plasma beam. That paid off quite a bit. <clears throat> wow, that's that's huge for Slug because um, that pretty much allows you to finish full clearing the rest of the game besides Frigate, number one. Number two, um, it puts Screw Attack in logic. Okay, so that being said, you know what could just be funny at this point is if Chica is guarding Thermal Visor. Because <laughs> it can oh, still happen. Just for the sake of logic, it could still happen. I don't think... Now, obviously, Chica's not going to be that important for that at this point. X-Ray. X-Ray. I have hope. X-Ray would be funny. X-Ray would just be funny. Because we know Omega that blocking... Pa Imagine Omega Pirate required with X-Ray on Chica. Oh, that would be, that would yeah. Be dream. <laughs> yeah, well, that being said, there's not a whole lot of Sky Temple Keys left in the seed. Op already has six. So there's only three left. All right, and it looks like we're seeing Ray actually head to the meeting grounds area. I do believe this is going to be a play for hints. Uh, that's an interesting way to climb up the frigate. That's a first, I see. That's a first. That right, was... That's a very interesting. <laughs> Alright, we'll see what this meeting grounds hint was. I'm sure Op read this. Oh, Morbus is guarding the artifact of Chozo. Thanks, game. We've literally known that since the start of the match. Well, Mighty Caesar and Op did, because Mighty Caesar checked hints very early, but that's when we um, we had some tech issues on our end, so we couldn't, uh, we couldn't show that to you folks. But yeah, now we're seeing Op do the same Torvis traversal we just saw Ray do a few minutes ago. We're going to get a biohazard containment check here. Or actually, no, we saw that already, didn't we, from Slug? And it must have not been anything major. Oh, yeah. That's a... <coughs> that room was a check right there that you need plasma beam for. <coughs> Ah, uh, yes, Charge Just... Depot A. And we know where is Plasma Beam. That's a one, that's literally one of the, of the places that we say, Oh, I forgot about this. I in many races. Not only the, the tournament, I don't know if that, that happened, but in the Prime 1 tournament, in Summon, that's literally like a place, a last location check. Yeah, just because if you don't get it on your first pass, A, it's not easy to get back to. Um, oh, wow, Hydro Access Tunnel has one of those missing Sky Temple keys. 
All right, so we know where Sky Temple Key, effectively Sky Temple Key number seven is hiding. So we're missing only two at this point. Uh, that is where, where Gary's suit is really important. Because you need the boost ball really good. Because you need, uh, on the airflow, you need, if you boost, you go downward. If you bomb, you go upward. Yeah, this so is if you have uh, if you have gravity suit, you only can go uh uh you only go uh you don't float really. Yeah, this you is just some, like <laughs> that's really tough. That's really that's a tough spot. Sorry, I don't mean to keep interrupting you. Um but yeah, yeah this go is ahead like now. Some, this is like some top tier wall boosting we're trying to see here from Slug. Because not only is she boosting towards the screen, which is very uncommon. Normally, in wall boosting, you boost towards the side. But, ooh, very close. Let go of that third boost, I think, a little too late. Yeah, if you're in the airflow, you boost <coughs> downward. But if you're not in the airflow, you'll, you'll boost upward, uh, I think. Since you, uh, for that tunnel state, you boost upward. Ooh, if you Ops don't gotta, have gravity suit. Ops got to be a little bit careful here. Um, she's dropped her health down to 58. That was a little tighter than I think I would have liked if uh, I were in those same shoes. Oh, no, it will be all. No, for AWP, it will, it will be all right. Yeah, luckily, thanks to the drop system, getting high-end drops is relatively easy. And finally, an hour and 26 minutes later... Uh, Mighty Caesar finds a suit in, um... In the uh, tower. In the tower. I'll, in I don't know, I don't know all the names, but I'll say the tower. Where oh, you normally need Spider Ball. Elite Research, yeah. Must have been Upper Elite Research. Which, ew. That's a pretty annoying spot. Now, wouldn't it be hilarious if Light Suit was just chilling right here in Storage Depot B? Aww. Uh, that, with Rubble Bean, that's the uh, after hassle, because you don't need to to do all of that, and you don't need Power Bomb, and you don't, you'll probably don't need that much Spider Ball. Alright, and Ray has, in fact, uh, begun the crossing over to um, uh, go get. Sky Temple Key hints. Now, what Ray's done is he's actually utilized that cannonball from Venomous Pond to um, traverse Hall of the Eyes, or not Hall of the Eyes, Abandoned Base is the name of the room, uh, where the gondola is, without taking any damage. Uh, because, again, cannonball protects you from all forms of damage. Virtually all forms of damage, I think. But um, the end result is that it's very easy to traverse Dark Aether, even on various suit. Um, but yeah, well, so we've got three keys missing on Ray's side. Now, we already know will, one of them. I will know them. Fortress, Fortress Transport Fortress. Access. That is trash because that needs Light Suit. The other Dynamo, were, uh, that is either the tunnel. I think that's the tunnel key. Plasma Processing. Okay, so that's the tunnel. Is that the tunnel key? I don't know. Don't dog me. Don't. Uh, I don't know it goes that much. I can tell. Yeah, because Dynamo works. I don't know if Ray's been to Upper Sank yet. I don't think so. So, yeah, Upper Sank. So, the Spider Regardian Tunnel, Plasma Processing, and Fortress Transport Access. Now, again, Fortress Transport Access, there's a way you can dodge Light Suit with more out of bounds movement. And with what Ray's been demonstrating tonight, I can't imagine he's worrying up, worrying too much about that right this minute. But uh, that's a Light Suit required seed. Oh, yeah, like logi like logically, logically it. it's a suit uh, a suit required. But <laughs> that being said, uh... okay, that's I think it's a missile in the vegetation shaft. In the so, shaft, okay. Yeah, that's I I see a missile. I I see the model of a missile. All right, and I'm gonna well, get I'm gonna get the confirmation. It's uh, if it's a missile. Well, it might be a, it might be supers. Um, if it has a similar missile model, let's let's take a look here. Oh, That's it's a, a beam. oh, it's double damage. Okay. 
Tides can be good. That's gonna Cause, be very good. Because uh, Emperor, I hate Emperor Hing. I hate it a lot. Even oh. in the Valna or Rain, though, I can It just so much. Well, Op is now uh. fully kitted. She's now packing all three multiplayer pickups. The only thing uh, missing is Cannonball, which is um, we know is in Venomous Pond. And poison bug, uh, poison bug is it's also it's light suit luck, I think. It is, yes. Uh, that so, uh, potentially is where our super missiles could be, or it could be reliquary. Yeah, right now super missiles can be in a really weird spot. Now that being said, because Ray has already gotten the cash B sky temp uh, artifact, rather, it's possible we might not see super missiles this seed on Team Orange Cat's side. <coughs> So light suit is highly uh, is highly appointed towards required. I, I like the I like the seats. Yeah. Former we'll viewer, see. former viewer side, former viewer side, not the player side. <laughs> well, that being said, we're watching Ray just casually screw attack out of bounds here. So we are going to see a uh, oh, well. Unfortunately, GFM sees uh, Aether Box is kind of gargantuan. Um. So it's going to take a while for Ray to climb back up here, but we are seeing an attempt here to skip Light Suit. Maybe it's a... Uh, uh, Aether jumping. Is that the one you where you almost well quality jump your way uh, back uh, inbound when you're out of bound? Is yeah. that the right name? Uh, so Aether jumping is where you uh, basically between <coughs> the room, uh, between the inside and outside of the room, uh, is a box, um, and inside the box is normal gravity for each room. Outside of the box is Aether, where you gradually rise up. Uh, entering and exiting that box uh, gives you a three-frame window where you can perform a jump. So Aether jumping is where you, it's regular space jumping, it's not bomb jumping. Uh, but you only have a three-frame window to pull it off, but it looks like Ray's not going to try from bat down here and is just going to go ahead and reset. And that's I think I have key too, by the way. From the that's uh, what kind of I uh, I don't know path thing in the temper uh, dark dark program. Oh, the um profane path. Yeah, no, next uh, not the echo visor lock one. The oh, phase on grounds. Phase on grounds. grounds. That was a ink I give ink I key to. Okay, so that's so I'm <coughs> trying to think about. Yeah, I think Ray at this point wants to. I think Ray might be trying to play as though he's in go mode because I'm trying to think at this point what is required beyond this point. Although that being said, um, just a minute. I'm trying to think what Ray's remaining obligations to Slug are at this point, because Slug is missing one of her artifacts. I'm just trying to remember where it was. And uh, missing uh, uh, a gravi gravity suit can be, uh, it's like, it requires ish at that point, logically speaking, because it's uh, uh, pretty good. Yeah, the sky but, but you don't need, uh, you don't really need much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's require ish much for logic purposes. Yeah. Now, granted, gravity could technically be behind plasma beam just because it was found in cargo freight lift, but thermal visor would also have to show up for that to be the case, which we haven't seen yet. So it's, it's possible gravity can be behind plasma, it's, but it's pretty rare given the circumstances. Sheikah, sheikah, sheikah. Uh, I mean, you know, here's the thing. I don't feel like Chica's is going to be that bad at this point, even if it is required. Because A, Cannonball was easy to spot. B, Op is fully kitted with all the multiplayer pickups. And C, Ray is, again, playing this as though I think he's in go mode already. The only key that's going to be, and with if Ray pulls this uh, skip off and gets back in bounds at the right spot, this would also give him Sank Entrance. Because Sank Entrance is, Sank Entrance is the Slug's last artifact, that's right. So I think what's happening is Slug is trying to find Emerald Translator to see um, if she can give uh, Ray a bit of a hand. <coughs> but yeah, the lack of Emerald Translator is definitely kind of 
throwing a wrench into the works this seed, that's for sure. I'm trying to think of places where progression could be. Like, Lower Mines is obviously open now because Plasma. Although, doesn't that also need X-Ray after MQA? Remind me again. Uh, X-Ray, uh, MQA, uh... Yeah, for Lower Mines, uh, for, for Fungal, uh, where you need a Fungal Alt, where you need the Plasma Beam, <coughs> there's a place where... <coughs> I, I don't know all the, the ruling by heart. <coughs> There are Mitchell bl blocked by a uh, shield f from f uh, where there's fairs on the underground. And then that's uh, unique. For see the platform, le logically speaking, you need the X ray to see them. Okay. And yeah, just like that, um, Ray's already picked up the Fortress Transport Access key. He's going to go get the Sank Entrance artifact. And that'll actually conclude Ray's obligations to Slug. Uh, at this point, I am convinced Ray is playing this as though he's in go mode. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure this is just about go mode, and Slug is basically looking for convenience items at this point uh, for mm. Ray while waiting for the last artifact. Because the last two keys for Ray are in the Dynamo Works Spider Guardian Tunnel, which with, with Seekers and uh, Dark Visor, he can reach. No problem. And the other one is... Uh, not Fortress Transport Access, obviously, because we've seen that already. Um, but yeah, it looks like Mighty Caesar's having a little bit of trouble here figuring this out. Because at this point, yeah, I'm trying to think about where the logic was trying to point runners in this scenario, because... Oh, did, uh, did they check Upper Dynamo? I heard uh, Upper Dynamo? In which game? Uh, uh, that, that. Uh, in Prime in Prime 1. They, uh, Mighty Caesar just got... Oh, where did Prime Spider-Ball uh, come from? Prime Spider-Ball? Yeah, I just mm. noticed. Mighty Caesar has it. Uh, it must have been in Upper Mind somewhere. I don't know, maybe. But, but this is what I'm going to do. The Magmar, the Magmar uh, soundtrack is an absolute banger. Indeed. Oh, plasma processing. That's right. Slug's got to go get plasma processing for um for Ray. So that's that's, a, that's spider lock and ice beam lock. Yeah. So Slug is about to and, complete and her plasma beam lock. Indeed. All right. So Slug just completed her obligations to Ray. Ray's obligations to um, Slug are about to be completed with Sank entrance, and then Ray's going to go ahead and do screw attack in the tunnel or whatever method necessary for the Sky Temple key in um, the Dynamo Works tunnel, and that's their go. So yeah, Team Orange Cats is effective, is playing as though they're in go mode. So Ray is gonna try and do final bosses on only six energy tanks very soon, which is doable. I should be, I should stress with double damage, it is perfectly doable. So, especially with double, uh, double damage and beam ammo. So definitely has the tools to do this. But is it, is it, uh... It will it be really rough. Yeah. Uh, it will be absolutely. It's not going to be an easy uh, thing to do. It's, but it is something that I'm sure Team Orange Cats can do right now. But that's yeah, a, there's that's in the range of gamble. Uh, indeed. Um, that being said, all right. So I've just picked up the artifact from Amorbus. Yeah, I think unfortunately it doesn't look like I I can't see a world where on thought of name pulls this back right now just because uh Op hasn't even seen key hints yet. And uh they're unfortunately still missing a lot of gear. Everything is possible in life. Very true, although I'll tell you one thing, if you have Cannonball, don't go sailing straight through Mini Gyro Chamber because with the Cannonball you don't take damage and you also don't take knockback as a result, so you're just gonna go sailing right through the Mini Gyro out of bounds and there's no Terminal Fall Trigger down there. So good luck climbing back up. Anyway, Angry Dragon Noises. Oh yeah, Mentor Ridley, yes. Oh yeah, I think that the Skybase Skip, uh, that's a difficult thing to do, but I think uh, I know maybe that's the... Uh, there soon, uh, we'll see that's like, uh, if it's a frame perfect trick or thing like that. Yeah, fly by, yeah, no, Skybase Skip. 
Yeah, I've seen some pretty am amazing flyby skips from runners, just like various iterations of it. Now, that being said, uh, yeah, this last key for Ray is literally right in the tunnel. That literally just side morphed into the tunnel. I have never seen that move before in my life. Oh, yeah. Do you know all that meta with the weakness is boost ball? Oh, yes. One tiny frame of boost right into the chest, and down goes literally all of Meta Ridley's health. It did connect just as Red Ridley was war uh, running away. That's a three quarter of his health. Literally. So yeah, now Ray is, for some reason, lowering the gyro, even though just needs to hop into the save room and warp to start. Although, may still be looking for a suit. And to answer a question, chat, the suit that Op has came from... Uh... I actually don't remember. It was very recent, though. Uh, it was in... Mines, I want to say. It was in Mines. I want to say it was Yeah, yeah, in... yeah, they did the shaft before the uh, elite, uh, elite quarter, elite something from the phase well, elite, of mine. Elite control access was phase on suit. I think um, it was uh, yeah. elite, uh, elite research, elite research, upper elite research, I think. 85 muscle for meter elite, that's more than enough. All right, just like that, Slug is in Impact Crater. So yeah, it's looking like it's about time to wrap things up here. Now, I'm not sure what Ray is trying to do here. I don't exactly know why Ray uh, hasn't saved Warp to go finish off the game, unless um, he's not comfortable fighting final bosses on various suits, Sixie. Uh, yeah, I will. I will definitely say, yeah, that's not. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want this. I don't want to fight this like that. No, 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 not like that. Oh, and, oh, and uh, because Ray took the cannon in um, Sank Entrance, unfortunately, he gave up his cannonball. At least I think that's what happened. Yeah, that's a, if you turn it, a cannon, you lose cannonball. All right, so Op is now heading back to Upper Sanctuary. This is going to be a check for Hive Gyro Chamber, which only recently became in logic with Echo Spider Ball, which was found in Chapel of the Elders. Oh no, we kind of have the word of you most. Uh, if oh. not hear the, uh, not hear the word of Olir. I see what Ray's doing here. Ray went to Olir in order to get out of bounds, so to get Cannonball out of Worker's Path. Uh, so this is going to be like the vanilla intended way you're supposed to get Cannonball. Well, I say supposed to. You're never supposed to actually keep Cannonball. But, that's um, uh, that's like so sorry. Continue. But yeah, we're going to see Ray go to Worker's Path by loading Sang Temple, walking all the way around it. I'm just now, I'm looking at future group races, and I'm very glad I'm not in this group, because I'm looking at the skill level of these runners, and Ray is scaring me. Because, <laughs> um, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I've definitely been trying to train on that I just haven't gotten around to yet, but Ray has been made the Echo's movement in particular look really darn easy tonight. Um, yeah, so that's, yeah. a, that's a good, uh, perfect use of uh, Iceberg on the uh, on Exo. <coughs> All right, and what we're going to uh, see here... And um, so far, that's a really, gr that's a really good Exo that has that's been put in so far. That's a indeed. really good Exo. All right, so what Ray's going to do now is try and jump over to the Kinetic Orb Cannon uh, to the side here. Now, Worker's Path is the room that Ray is in, but Sank Temple is currently what's loaded. So what's going to happen here is that when Ray gets into the cannon, he's going to get shot out of it, but it's going to yeet... It's going to effectively yeet Ray out of bounds. And because it yeets Ray out of bounds instead of onto level geometry, what's where the game would normally take away Cannonball, since there's no geometry there... Ray's not going to lose Cannonball, and this will allow Ray to keep Cannonball going into <coughs> final bosses, which is pretty big. It's a very big deal right now, because Ray really does want to keep this Cannonball. 
So there you go. Ray enters cannon. Wall unloads right in front of in front of him. And there you go. Ray now has cannonball. Okay, right, so for <coughs> for Exo, <coughs> if you have Ice Burner, the color you want Exo to see the most is uh, for the floor three is uh, Ice Power a Power Beam, then Wave. Yeah, right and now. And for the for floor four, uh, uh, no, there, no, two is Ice, three is Plasma, four is Chaos. <coughs> so you want, yeah. so you want to see. In order with ice burden and tow, plasma, ice, power, wave. Other than that, you want to see, if you don't have ice burden, you want to see plasma, I will see power, ice, wave. Just yeah. because wave, a charge wave is the one that does the less damage, but as only. And ice is just not convenient to use against EXO uh, without ice spreader. You say that, and right now this sub chamber four EXO is trolling slug. Like <laughs> I have seen so many beam shifts so far, like it is kind of ridiculous. That's why it's chaos. But it stay on plasma. And yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Are you? Oh my. So Echo Supers were plasma locked in Ice Ruins West. Ice wow. Ruins West. Okay. So those, they're still out of logic. <laughs> That's still out of logic until we find Thermal Visor. Ice Ruin West. No, that's in the. That will be a uh, Super Missile in logic. Well, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's plasma locked. Ice Ruins West is plasma locked. Uh, you're thinking the Shoreline's Lighthouse is Super Missile Locked. Um, but Ice Ruins West is Plasma Locked, and Plasma is in uh, Cargo Freight Lift, so that either needs Thermal Visor or Gravity Suit to go from the back. So, so I'm sorry, those Super Missiles are still out of logic, and it is going to be real interesting watching these credits to find out where they are. <laughs> Yeah, this seat has been just okay. a logical nightmare from the looks of it. But again, Team Orange Cats seem to have uh, managed to skip a lot of the hard bits here. And uh, Ray is on the, his way to final bosses. Yeah. Not for essence. Not that that could be a thing. For essence, uh, okay, not only you'll. So first, you need thermal, because now it doesn't move. So there will be a uh, thermal right there. But the best way, not only to. Did not skip a pool from uh, essence. It's first phase before you before a pool exists. Uh, don't move, just jump. Now, so that will be the X-ray phase. Now you see the thermal phase. Now we're, after that is the combat visor phase. <coughs> now this is interesting here because I forgot that Ray actually what is not able to um, get to Sky Temple Keys, uh, Sky Temple Gateway normally due to a distinct lack of super missiles, so he now has to do Abandoned Base Out of Bounds again, which pretty much you can't do without Cannonball, given the circumstances. Okay, Slug, I see, don't, don't Slug see, like, <coughs> uh, a pull, pull cancel, or <coughs> just pace, pacing, uh, is a phase and shot. Phase them being shot. Because pull console will be <coughs> that you go in the pool, you press, you press A, but then you move out of the pool when you press it. So you save pull, uh, uh, phase on pull in your G to abate the essence. But yeah, that's, that's just uh, uh, cancel attack canceling essence. The, the way for pumping, that's the uh, attack cancel for essence. And then that just speed up the pool spawning. <clears throat> yeah, so far Slug not having too, too much trouble. Although I don't think Dot the Attack cancels quite perfectly that last cycle. But this should be the last pool here. Yeah, just a that's, quick... a, that's a last pool. It just need to uh, find Essence. Yeah, that's a, that's a time for uh, Slug. So yeah, that for Slug, that time is going to be a... The time is a little desynced, but the time on race time is a 148.51. Unfortunately, yeah, that's, that, 
the time is when the uh, essence cutscene uh, defeated start. So. <laughs> All right, we're seeing an Elder Chamber check here from my Caesar. This is something we could not see earlier due to a distinct lack of plasma beam, being as in as stupid a spot as it was. <coughs> and remember, <coughs> the, the, it's not that true GG dot done if, uh, if one of the teammates has not finished. Indeed. Now let's have a look at these credits here because we're currently looking for, logically, to put this whole thing together, we're looking for Thermal Visor or Gravity Suit. Where are either of those? Wait, wait, wait slow down. <coughs> Fire to earn a bunch of quarantine is... Thermal, Great Th Tree Chamber. Okay, uh, that's okay. not a bad spot. All of the Eldar on is X-Ray. It shows a rune, all of the Eldar is X-Ray. And gravity suit under temple access. So, Ooh. oh wow! So you had to use, you had to do gravityless frigate because you needed to do gravityless frigate with thermal visor to get uh, plasma beam, so that you can then get super missiles, so that uh, supers can go get your gravity suit. You had to do gravityless frigate, unless you wanted the <coughs> uh, gravity boost. <coughs> okay, that will be a sexy tank. No dog suit. No suitless uh, ink. Emp Emperor ink. Yeah, with uh, double damage and with the amount of firepower yeah. Ray's got available, no unlimited beam ammo, but honestly, with double damage, luckily that effectively acts as doubling your beam ammo. Um, ooh, almost got uh, knocked out of position there, but work recovers nicely and has cannonball for phase two, which will make this much easier. Yeah, that's the... <coughs> It's always for me and Peringa, I always uh, struggle with phase three because <clears throat> it's such it's such ba bad word. That's so much like that. Oh yeah. Uh, Emperor Ring has a weak point for a square attack at that spot. Yeah, a bit of a holdover from uh, development days. Apparently, Emperor Ring was supposed to have vulnerable kneecaps that would be hit by screw attack, but they scrapped the mechanic in development, but didn't scrap the hitboxes. And luckily, the screw attack damage just takes from the main health pool, and easy Emperor Ring 3 as a result. But you need to do Dark Summit 3 and quote-unquote 4 because <coughs> in uh, Scanlog it's too dark it's a too dark semi scan alright we're seeing a sentinel's path check from up here which is more missiles so I think that puts the whole lot actually I didn't see where we don't know where the second progressive suit is we're gonna find out eventually in the credits again but so yeah let's see how Ray deals with this and so, there's yeah. not really health drop for Dark Samus 3. No, the That's... only thing Ray's got that can protect him right now is Cannonball. And I think he's fully using it. That's the, that's the only thing that can protect you is the, it will be the Cannonball. Alright, so definitely got some good scratches there with Screw Attack. Ooh, that looked like a decent hit. Oh, centered almost immediately. Ooh, this is going to be a very rough DS4. Ooh, didn't get enough power for the charge shot. Yeah, Dark Samus 4 already not cooperating. Yeah, this is what getting centered looks like. Unfortunately, Ray didn't have a whole lot of Dark Beam ammo. That's, that's going to be a really rough. Personally, I like using the Dark Beam, especially with double damage, I like using Dark Beam for Dark Samus 4 skip. Ooh, Ray mistimed that morph, unfortunately. 
Oh, we found light be a light suit, I, I guess. Ooh, that I did not catch. Uh, I did not catch either. It must have been... Where is Op coming out of right now? It must have been in Dark in Inghive somewhere. We're going in... in uh, we're going in... Uh, we're going in... in I. Uh, it must have been Watch Station. Or somewhere. Is either Watch Station or Watch Station Access. All right, so that's not the worst spot in the universe for our suits. Uh, this is a little unfortunate for Ray, because right now he's got to get two shots in. And I think that missile hit might have just sealed the deal. Yeah, there's not enough HP to get another charge shot going, so that is GG for Ray. That, uh, that being said, uh, you do get a checkpoint at Emperor Ng once you defeat him, so Ray, luckily... Although Luz's cannonball does keep double damage, so we'll be able to take another stab at this. Okay, so you lose cannonball at death. Oh. You lose you lose cannonball on a death, yes. Oh. Uh, the the oh, only time okay. you do not lose cannonball really? is if sometime after your last save, uh, you are sent cannonball by your partner. In which case, when you reload, the game will give you back cannonball from the items granted from your partner until you save, obviously. Because the, the the nice thing about the multi-world random uh, server is that it does remember stuff you picked up before your last save, and it will give it back to you from your partner if you die before reaching a save station. It's before you can anchor that stuff in correctly. Okay, so... He, he is kind of locked into uh, Dark Samus 3 and 4. Yeah, he's got to commit to this uh, fight. Now, if I were in Ray's shoes, I would have used the Ingworm caches on the side of Sky Temple to grab a little bit of extra Dark Beam ammo for this. Because, again, I just personally prefer the Dark Beam strategy. But, um, again, that's just me. Ray is uh, choosing to persevere here. Unfortunately, got centered in a virtually the exact same manner. This time, though, much more damage on Dark Samus. Should only need two shots. All right, so now at that low health, Dark Samus won't come down, so it's really just a matter of time now. Yeah, that's the, I think, one, just one shot. And there's the shot, and that is GG. Ray GG. finishes. That's what's... Uh, that was not good, but that was a skill, a skill play. By far. <coughs> All right, with that said, we have seen a DNF from Team Unthought of Name. They will not be finishing. Uh, Team Orange Cats, Sluglin, and Ray Shy are our winners tonight. So GG's to Team Orange Cats. GG's indeed. And that was really uh, a... That, that could be a way harder, a way longer seed, if not far. The scale ceiling is the scale ceiling. The scale ceiling in Echoes is much more higher than the prime one. All right, we are starting to have our runners join us in the booth. We are currently joined by uh, Sluglin, Reishai, and Mighty Caesar. To the three of you, GG Team Orange Cats, congratulations! Yeah, thank you, thank, thank you, you. GG. GGs. Um, so uh, this was a really logically confusing seed for a bit <laughs> um where do we begin uh, it really i want to see the credit for it... for me if i want to see if i have my cursed seed for once or not yeah we we did piece together that all right and uh op joins us as well as in the booth gg to you <laughs> Jeez. Okay. all right first so... let's be peace first let me peace out what my cursed seed would have been <laughs> it was being uh we were playing uh she she kept having either maybe plasma or uh that the omega power will be required and uh <laughs> she has like x-ray or something like that um i i don't think trigger would have been required unless it had suits 
Uh, yeah. It did not have suit. Okay, so it wasn't required. Yeah, was... It wasn't. X X ray was in uh Dark Torvis Bog, I think. Oh wait, yes. oh yeah, how about that? Uh gravi gravity was in I don't remember where. Gravity about... suit gravity suit was in lower Torvis, so yeah. you had to do Gravityless frigate with thermal visor to get plasma beam to get super missiles in ice runes west. Uh, what about and, and also screw attack in ice runes east? What about yes. what about Cobalt? Cobalt or we will we will see that on the on the Reyes credits. For that oh. matter, we're still missing Emerald Translator too. So <laughs> um, yeah, unfortunately, and this is something that I empathize with both of you folks in the Echoes run personally. Just only going on Amber Translator the whole game. Yeah, I, I honestly feel very lucky with this seed because it was perfect for me to just kind of break it. Like, some seeds it's very annoying, like, you know, require chicken or something, but I could just keep going with this one. Indeed. I was, I was super worried about the uh, 12 minutes of resetting to uh, Ice Ruins East Wall Crawl that I practiced for. But, but that uh... definitely ended up being worth it because that screw attack did everything. Yeah, because, yeah, Ray, you were able to skip the light suit requirement for Fortress Transport access. Mm -hmm. um, and that also lets you get Sank Entrance without Emerald Translator as well. Yep, and I also need, I was also able to just skip Supers entirely. Indeed, yeah. So now, Slug, did you see Supers in Ice Ruins, yep. um, Wes? You did, okay. Yeah, I just insisted that she didn't get them because I didn't need them. Yeah, because yeah, we're um, about we're about to I, see on our credits where uh, the translators were, because the translators weren't bothering us as much as the beams were at first, because at first we saw Annihilator and Antichamber, and okay, it's locked by ice, although we thought there was a world where Ice Beam could have just been in, like, in Cache 2 or something. No, nope, um, it was Lower Lab Ether. Yeah, not the case. I, I was beating myself up for warping out of uh, Fendrana. <laughs> Oh, Cobalt right. was lower ether? Oh, Emerald Cobalt Translator. Is, uh, Cobalt Trans is, is uh, 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 em Emerald on Chica. Oh, my God. Emerald Translator, oh God. it was a Chica seed. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> I got my so, ghost wait, seed. Did, I, did I, I... I went to Underground Tunnel. Did I not get the item? Uh, I think I you think went you to Med Vista and turned around. No, no. I, I remember going and... Going to Great Temple or Torvis Temple from the bottom and seeing the, the Emerald Transgator again, I just turned around. I must not have gotten Cobalt. Oops, oh my. Cause... Yeah. Huh. Eh, it happens. You didn't need it anyways. I'm glad it wasn't important. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yeah, the both Op and Ray, you both skipped the Spider Guardian fight. You did that no pro virtually no problem. But oh, I, um, I didn't yeah. skip it. I needed Cobalt because I couldn't do it. Because. <laughs> I oh, I tried I, yeah I tried to do the uh, instant morph and it just wasn't working like it never does so yeah, like as soon as I saw the cobalt requirement and then like got my third chicken key I kind of knew it was over because it required tricks that I just really hate to, and you know I haven't practiced because I hate so much. I understand entirely. There's there's a few tricks I'm due to train myself on before my first match is on Saturday. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little under practice now that I think about it. So uh, Ray, you've given me uh, you've given me a bit of a warning sign to get uh, to get cracking. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Yeah, the the read just show that the scale sinning on maybe that tournament or just Echo in general is really high compared to point one, which can be quite lower, but the execution is more dominant in Prime 1 than maybe uh, Echoes. Yeah, Prime 1 definitely requires a lot more thought and planning into your execution more than Echoes does, just because if you go to do any out-of-bounds, it's so slippery. All right, well, with that said, I believe both of you, uh, that was only your first match of the group stage. You still yep. have five more each to go. Uh, your thoughts going forward? Um, I'm looking forward to it, honestly. I uh, I think our next match is against Xeno and Avina, and I know that Slug has a horrible RA with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has uh, hidden item models, scans, and names. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh -oh. Also, <laughs> IS is enabled, so... That, that counteracts some of that. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm uh, what, I'm, what I'm looking for is 
more chica require requ more cursed. <laughs> I want, wow. I want that. At least I got some cursed. It's a Taurus and a Morbus. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to the conundrum when we just got done with the conundrum of um, you know, plasma beam to super missiles to um, to uh, gravity suit. So yeah, that was. That that was definitely a brain teaser seed, and it then it didn't help that it started with ice beam um, <clears throat> annihilator behind ice beam, and then um, it didn't help that plasma lock screw attack super missiles and a sky temple key. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, the entire time, honestly, I was screaming at myself to go back to Incash too because plasma was probably there. Because I, mean, I mean, realistically, the plasma didn't lock the sky temple key since you can just save quit out. But yeah, it's. Logically required plasma is not a fun time, especially if it's hidden in places you don't want to check. Tell me about it. Yep. Well, with that said, uh, folks, anything else, runners, that you would like to say tonight before we close out? Uh, nothing. Just thanks for commentating and GG Caesar and Op. Jeez. <laughs> Bad seed, here's to worst ones in the future. <laughs> Bad seed, live rough tunnel. Uh, I'm told that the uh, match that was played just an hour before this one started was also um, worth a watch. Um, that being said, uh, we will be back. Uh, boy, are you folks in for a treat tomorrow? This whole weekend you're in for a treat. Uh, between Friday, uh, December 8th at 5 p.m. and Sunday, December 10th up to 4 p.m., you're looking at a whopping, am I counting this right? 11 matches scheduled between Friday afternoon and Sunday afternoon. Yeah, that, so, that sounds about right. So, <laughs> That's yeah. sad. I, I'm working at that you, at those time. Yeah, uh. you, you folks are in for a treat this weekend. There is lots of CGC to be seen. Again, starting Friday, 5 p.m., Eastern 6 p.m. for the next match after. We'll keep uh keep uh tabs on the Prime CGC speed gaming schedule. We will let you know when those races are taking place. With that said, uh again, thank you to our runners, uh Ray Shy, Sluglin, Mighty Caesar 37, and Op82 for putting on a fantastic show for you here on this Thursday evening. LJ Emnon, thank you so much for joining me here in the booth tonight. Thank you. That was a that was a lot of a uh, really long time ago that I didn't come dating. <laughs> but uh, I thank you for covering Echoes. No problem. Always a pleasure. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me in the booth once again. And with that said, uh, thank you for watching, folks. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you next mission. Take care. Sure.